hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to see the binary cap program by provided by the codality so here there are a set of questions over here so let's start with the first one it is a binary cap so let's read the question <coughs> a binary gap with a positive integer and the maximum constant zero surrounded by one of the both ends of the binary for example number nine as a binary gap, it contains a binary gap as 2. So the binary gap between 1 and 1 is 2. The so number 5 to 9 has a binary representation. So it and contains two binary gaps here. Here the binary gap is 4 and here the binary gap is 3. Okay. One of the length is 4 and one of the length is 3. The number 20 has a binary representation. 1010 zero, zero, contains a binary gap of 1. The number 15 has 1, one no binary gap. The number 32 has 1, so no binary gap. So okay, so okay fine. The given uh, positive integer returns the uh, longest binary gap. Okay, so we need to return. So here in this scenario we need to return the four. Fine. In this scenario we need to return one. Fine. For example, given number is n, the function should return y. Since yeah, this is a binary gap, since here has five zeros. Okay, fine. And given n should return. Okay. So efficient code is with if an n integer is of true something yeah fine let's do it mm -hmm. we have good 120 kilometers for 120 minutes fine let's do it so now i am doing the code in the c sharp fine yeah let's start <coughs> So first and foremost, we'll get the input of the given number. Okay. So we need to find out the binary gap. We need to convert into the binary number. So let's convert into string number is equal to convert dot to string from n comma two. So this will convert to the binary number and the number will be the binary number so let's let's now now we need to check whether where is the zeros and where are ones so let's do a for loop i equal to zero comma i is less than given number dot length comma i plus plus yeah fine so and i is an integer type so let's give it here by this we can get the all values the loop of this number values fine and next we need to check if condition if number of i is equal to equal to zero then let's have the count count plus plus Let's declare here so what is the count int count is equal to zero. Let's declare another one like max count. Max count is equal to zero as well. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. So count should be increased else. Else what we need to do? So we need to find the max count. Max count is equal to math dot max of max of math count comma count and let's make the count zero and is equal to zero fine and let's give the return as and let's return the max count so I think so it will work. Let's see. First we change it to the small and in the loop fine. No, so yeah, fine. Let's run the test. Oh, something happened. So it got zero for so okay. Let's debug it. What happened? <laughs> Here the string. The number is in a former string. And once we divide, we'll get the character. So let's keep here the character string segment. And let's run the test case. 
yeah it succeeded and as for okay for the given number for example for the given number 32 it should be reserved in 0 so for 32 it's written in 0 fine so our test case has been solved so let's submit the test case so sorry submit the task fine Yeah, continue. Aha, uh -huh, it's hundred percent done with this. So as you can see here, yes, look, all test cases have been succeeded. So fine, done with this. Thank you, thank you for watching. Bye.